This video is on truth tables. It is part three of a three part series. And we've already seen truth tables can do three things for us. They can help us categorize the truth conditions of sentences, help us determine whether an argument is valid or invalid. And finally, in this video, help us compare the truth conditions for two sentences. Two sentences can be logically equivalent. Two sentences are logically equivalent if and only if in a truth table the columns for their main operators are identical. Two sentences can be logically contradictory. Two sentences are logically contradictory if and only if in a truth table the columns for their main operators are exactly the opposite. And then two sentences can be logically contingent. Two sentences are logically contingent to one another if and only if. In a truth table, the columns for their main operators are the same in at least one row, but not every row. Here are some things to keep in mind, right? Our five rules that correspond to our five operators. If these don't look familiar to you, you should definitely go back and watch the previous videos that I will link in the description of this video. And remember to complete our truth tables, we have to follow three steps, set it up, fill it in, evaluate it. Here's our first example. Construct a truth table to determine whether the following sentences are logically equivalent, logically contradictory, or logically contingent. If P, then Q, and if not Q, then not P. So we're going to set up our truth table. There's our cross. There's our two sentences. Every simple sentence. Every combination of true and false for those two sentences. Now we can fill in our truth table. For our conditional here, a conditional is only false when you have a true antecedent and a false consequent. The antecedent is P, the consequent is Q, and you only have a true antecedent and a false consequent on two. So our column is true, false, true, true. For our second sentence here, if not Q, then not P. First, we have to fill in the not Q, and we have to fill in the not P before we can fill in the conditional. Not Q, you just take the Q column and you flip it. True, false, true, false becomes false, true, false, true. Similar for the not P column, take the P column and flip it. True, true, false, false becomes false, false, true, true. And now we have the antecedent and the consequent for this conditional. It is not Q and not P, so we can fill in that conditional. It's only false when you have a true antecedent and a false consequent, like on line two. So now we can evaluate what we have filled in. We only care about the main operator columns. That's what we're going to be comparing. And as you can see, they're identical. So these two sentences are logically equivalent. Another example here, not P or Q and P and not Q. Set up our truth table. Now we can fill it in. For our disjunction here, it's a disjunction of not P and Q. So before we fill in the disjunction, we can fill in the not P. Take the P column and we flip it. Now the disjuncts for this disjunction are again not P and Q. So we look at this column and the Q column and we apply the rule. A disjunction is only false when both disjuncts are false. So our column here is true, false, true, true. Because line two is the only line in which both disjuncts are false. Let's now move over here to this sentence. We have to fill in the not Q column before we fill in the conjunction column. Let's take the Q column and you flip it. True, false, true, false becomes false, true, false, true. Now the conjunction is a conjunction of P and not Q. So you look at the P column and you look at the Q column and you apply the rule. A conjunction is only true when both conjuncts are true like in line two. So we have filled in our truth table. Now we can evaluate it. Again, we only care about the main operator columns. We don't care about anything else. And we're comparing those two. And as you can see, they're exactly the opposite. So these two sentences are logically contradictory. Here's one more example. P if and only if Q, and then it's not the case that if P then Q. So we set up our truth table like we've done multiple times before. Now we can fill it in. Our sentence over here, a biconditional. A biconditional is only true when both components are true or both components are false. So true, true, it's going to be true. 
true false 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 true false 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 so so there's our column for our second sentence over here it is not the case that if p then q we have to fill in the conditional before we can fill in the negation a conditional is only false when you have a true antecedent and a false consequent like in line two so we have true false true true now the negation is saying that the thing inside the parentheses is false so you just take this column and you flip it true false true true becomes false true false false and now we can evaluate our truth table remember we only care about the main operator column and as you can see the columns for the main operators are the same in at least one row but not every row so these sentences are logically contingent and here's just one more example Now we can fill in our truth table. Starting with the sentence over here, we have to fill in the disjunction before we can fill in the conjunction. It's a disjunction of Q and R, so we look over here, and the disjunction is only false when both disjuncts are false, like on lines four and eight. Now we can fill in the conjunction. Remember, a conjunction is only true when both conjuncts are true, like on lines one, two, and three. Now we can move over here to this sentence and fill in this. We have to fill in this conjunction and this conjunction before we fill in the disjunction. P and Q is only true when P is true and Q is true, like on lines one and two. P and R, that's only true when P is true and R is true, like on lines one and three. And now we can fill in the disjunction. Remember, it's a disjunction of the two conjunctions, and it's only false when they're both false. So lines one, two, and three, it's true, and the rest are false. Now we can evaluate our truth table. We only care about the main operator columns, and as you can see, they're identical. So these two sentences are logically equivalent. Here are some more examples for you to try. You can pause your video here if you need to. An example is set up for you. And now it's filled in. And it's evaluated. Another example set up for you. Filled in and evaluated. And one more example, set up, filled in, and evaluated. And this concludes this third video on truth tables. Yet again, this might be the type of thing that you have to watch a couple of times, maybe three times. It's not something that everybody gets on the first try, but if so, give it another watch and give some of these truth tables a try.